What's up, everybody? This is your man, Keith Allen, and I'm here live at Irving Joe's Cafe, and I'm here live with the owner himself, Joe Little of the Rude Boys. What's up, Joe Little? How you doing? What's up, man? How you doing today? Doing pretty good. So what you been up to nowadays? I just um, been uh, working with my cafes and um, uh, working with my coffee brand, my own business. Um, for those who don't know, uh, Irving Joe Gourmet Coffee and Tea is the only African American independently owned coffee brand and we have um, right now currently we have two locations with our third and fourth location soon to follow um, so that's what we're doing we just uh, opening up cafes to use as a vehicle to push our coffee that's good that's what's happening and everything last night you was up at the Playmore skating ring with the special tribute to Gerald Levert and you did your thing on baby hold on to me and everything so why don't you tell everybody how, how, how did it take you to participate in a tribute like that? Um, just the, uh, the background and the history that's between uh, me and Gerald um, Levert and his family and our production company. Um, Gerald was very responsible for the Rude Boys uh, coming out and being shown to the world. So, and you know, not just that he was my mentor and like a brother to me. So. I mean, any, like I said last night at the tribute, anything that has something to do with Gerald, there's no question I'm there. Okay, so what's going on with you and the Rude Boys? Y'all got any new music coming out in the very near future? Uh, well, currently right now we're doing um, the 90s throwback tour uh, with uh, like the Rude Boys, Men at Large, Silk, Next, H-Town, Troop, Shy. And uh, we've been doing shows in different spots in the country. So that's what we're doing right now. And then we're preparing to go into the studio. Oh, that's good. So y'all will probably have an album coming out sometime, two th late 2010, early 2011. Yeah, probably like around the fall. That's what's up, cause you know, people looking forward to that and everything. Oh yeah, definitely. And I'm um, currently writing a book, and I'm doing a CD to go along with the book, a soundtrack to go along with the book. It's 12 chapters, 12 songs, and the uh, title of the book is "The Day of the Convincing Storyteller," which is a book about my life and memoirs and my outlooks on life. Okay, that's what's up and everything. So, what would you, what advice would you give? to an upstart person trying to get his niche either in music or to open up his own business and be successful like you are? Um, first of all, I would like to say uh, make sure that you have a passion for what you do, you know, because uh, you got to have love for something that you really want to be successful uh, at because it takes a lot of peaks and valleys that you, you're subject to go through, and um, you just got to have that passion. Two is just hard work. You got to put it in a lot of work. Put in good work. You know, what you put in, you get out, you know. So, it's, you know, you got to be real, you know, focused and, and just, you know, persevere and just keep it moving on whatever you want to do. That's what's up most definitely in things. Well, Joe, if you, why don't you give people your contact information if somebody okay. wants to come under your wing for you to write some songs for them or just guide them through the business mm -hmm. um well you can catch me uh at um you can follow me on twitter twitter casino joe little twitter Irving joe coffee um you can also catch me on casino joe little at facebook you can catch me at www.myspace.com slash casino joe little one and or slash myspace.com slash rude house which is the rude boys spot um you can catch me also. Uh, uh, we have an Irving Joe Gourmet Coffee and Tea um, Facebook page that you can contact us in. And then it'll give you the link to our website because it's too long for me to uh, try to rattle off for you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just go to those sites and it'll connect you. It'll connect you to whatever we're doing. And um, we here at Irving Joe is just uh, what we say is Irving Joe Gourmet Coffee and Tea coffee with a touch of soul and we tell you sip soulful you know what i'm saying and we got two locations 14804 st Clair, that's in cleveland and then we have 12204 larchmere which is our new location and soon we'll be opening up the ice cream stand on lakeview and st Clair, which will be Irving joe express and Lee Harvard area watch out because we're on our way there too wow, so that Irving joe express gonna be right where the gas station, where the old dairy can. Exactly, exactly. Okay, that's what's happening and everything. Well, it's good talking to you. You're a successful black businessman. 
and you're a role model for the kids and for young people who want to come up and try to do the same things that you're doing. And best of luck to you, and it's a blessing for you to be doing this. Absolutely, man. I thank you for coming out and interviewing me today. And um, one day you can come to Irving Joe and I can interview you. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. That's what's up. So come on out, support a black-owned, black-operated business. This is your man, Keith Allen, and I'm here with Joe Little, and we're signing off.